Okay, I've been told by my production assistants that I should keep my videos at eight minutes or less because the problem has been people are like getting so excited, you know, like when they see like, oh my gosh, 20 minutes, like they want to gather their family around and get popcorn and, and all this. And it's been very disruptive uh, for people and their family life because everybody is wanting to watch my, my videos. So we're gonna keep it at eight minutes and then you can just watch it and not have people bother you, okay? Uh, when I take a look at the Monopoly graph, uh, we'll start with what we've been working on already and then go into allocative efficiency and productive efficiency. And what we're doing here is we're following the marginal cost train, okay? But we'll just start with uh, the quantity of max profit and what's happening there because that is the most important quantity. That is where the monopoly is going to choose to uh, produce at. And we know it's the monopoly because we've got this uh, inelastic demand curve and then marginal revenue tucked in coming underneath and we have our marginal cost intersecting. And then here is our quantity of max profit. Uh, and I'll just call that quantity A. We don't necessarily need to have a number there. <clears throat> and this is, of course, not the price. Hopefully you got that on the quiz. And then up here is the price. Price is on the demand curve. And we'll just call this P1. Okay, P1 is the price uh, at quantity A. And right now we're not uh, aware of how much profit that there's going to be. But let's see what we do know, okay? And we know that the consumer surplus is up here. We know that this is our quantity of max profit. I'm not gonna write it in just so, but this is our diminishing marginal returns, okay? So we know a lot already. And I'm gonna come in, uh, wait for it, the average total cost curve, okay? Because we're gonna compare that to the price and see where that, lands us. So here's our average total cost curve coming in. And notice MC hits the average total cost curve at its lowest point. Okay, right here. And that point's going to be important. So we have a little bit of intersections going on here that's going to be important. So we're going to pay attention to the details later, but we're going to stick with right here the quantity of max profit. All right. Well, we know our price, our average total cost, we come up from quantity A, and this is our average total cost, and we're just gonna call it P2. It's a average total cost, but it's okay. We know that it just represents a dollar sign. Maybe we'll put in numbers later to calculate. And now we know our region of profit, just to avoid too much going on, as we're gonna go over this a lot, I'm not gonna color it in, but right here, this is our region of profit at the quantity of max profit. And then there's the consumer surplus. Producer surplus would be below, uh, going down to the marginal cost curve. Don't be terribly concerned about producer surplus in this scenario. But we do wanna pay attention to uh, allocative efficiency. Time check, halfway through. Allocative efficiency was where price equals marginal cost. So now we're going to take a look at that. Well, we're following the marginal cost curve. This is the intersection with average total cost. So the price is not there. That'll be important later. Here is our allocatively efficient quantity where MC hammers the demand curve. Where MC hits demand, price equals marginal cost. That's allocative efficiency. And that would be you know, the socially optimal, a fair price for a fair cost, everybody wins scenario. And obviously the price is higher than that, uh, where we want it to be, and we're producing at a lower quantity. Uh, I'm gonna make this quantity here, that we're gonna talk about later, quantity B, and this quantity here is quantity C, okay? That's the quantity that's allocatively efficient, and that would be the price. We don't need to worry about what the price would be there. But we do want to color in this region here, which most of you know by now is 
dead weight loss and my red is not working. Let's see how good I am at shooting. You're gonna have to take me at my word if this is gonna make it into the, where is the garbage basket? Okay, we're gonna just go for recycling. Oh, it was, it was pretty close. This is gonna be our dead weight loss. And dead weight loss is pretty much always a triangular shape, okay? All right, that's our region of dead weight loss, and it goes from the allocatively efficient quantity back to our quantity of max profit, okay? And dead weight loss, just as it sounds, is a bad thing. This is a loss of welfare benefit to producers and consumers primarily to the consumers. The consumer is the big loser here, uh, paying a higher price uh, than they should have to, okay? All right, <clears throat> so that's allocative efficiency, where price equals marginal cost. It can, we can also call that socially optimal. We can also call that perfect competition. That's where the market would be if it was a perfectly competitive market, okay? All right, we're gonna talk about something new, productive efficiency. And this is essentially the quantity at which the cost, average total cost is the lowest. So in other words, it makes sense, the average total cost, that's what's going in. We want that to be as low as possible. We want average total cost to be as low as possible. Well, because MC hammers ATC at its lowest point, that intersection is productively efficient, okay? Oh, forgot the demonic purple monkeys chase after everybody. P equals MC, allocatively efficient. And for productive efficiency, it's my cousins are the coolest people ever. MC equals ATC, productively efficient. Well, where is that? That's right here at quantity B, all right, where MC hits ATC, that's productively efficient, okay? Uh, important to note, these do not always follow the same order, except I will say max profit pretty much comes right after diminishing marginal returns. The rest, and there's a couple other ones that we're gonna talk to talk about as well, they can be in any kind of scrambled order, so you just pay attention to the intersections. All right, and now that I'm coming to the end of this exciting video, I got 20 seconds. This is our region of profit right here, which we talked about. Okay, and up here is our consumer surplus, C.S. Lewis, P.S. I love you. Okay, that concludes this eight minute video. I've got three, two, one.